So when it comes to the altar or the temple of the Most High, you notice at the bottom, the lower portion is where all the copper is at. In the middle is the silver. At the top in the Holy of Holies is where the gold's at. Likewise, it's akin to the copper being the lower things, the silver being, you know, a step above, the gold being the higher things. And if you notice, they call man, like the original human, uh, copper, copper colored man. So in a way, it's like the copper is signifying, you know, the son, a son of man, beast, animalistic nature, lower things, anger, strife, envy, murder, you know, things that can't reside in the Holy of Holies where the, where the, where the gold is, where the Most High resides. So we got to take a step up from that lower nature, from that copper, because copper can be burned. We got to work on that silver stuff, step up. Take it from even when reading the text, you gotta take a step up to the silver instead of the base level of the text, getting kind of deeper, seeing more, you know, getting more insight, working on higher things instead of being, you know, being wicked. You know, now you, you know, you, you moving up, you're kind of, you know, getting that change. People can see a change in you, you're starting to shine a little more. You can't just go from from copper straight to gold. So then you start working on, you know, maybe you was, maybe you were like an angry person every day, or maybe you were lazy and broke. Now, you know, you're working more towards being a better person in general. But the gold, the gold, where the most high resides in your mind, when you get to that gold point, we should be working towards getting to that gold. You know why you have no idols in your temple. No idols, no other gods, just the most high. Meditating on his law, statutes and commandments, meditating on him. Supplicating. Try to get that three times a day, at least morning. I mean, uh, the daily, evening, and noon. Offerings, calves of your lips. Praising the Most High, repentance, or you know, uh, praying for deliverance, or you know, what I'm saying protection, stuff like that. Working towards the higher things, keeping the commandments, being a good person, loving your neighbor as yourself, being righteous, having righteous judgment, not gossiping, which are lower things. Not staying in anger, having righteous anger, you know, when it's time, when it's somebody doing something wicked, you know, it's already right to be mad. It's already right to call somebody out on some wicked shit. But for the most part, when you're in that golden state, refined state, just like uh, the three Hebrew boys in Daniel, when they were in the furnace, they, they couldn't be burned. Why could it not be burned? Because fire, gold, gold is only refined. It's not burned. They were golden at that point. They weren't bronze. They weren't even silver. They were gold. They refused to worship another God, even in the face of death. And they called on the Most High. They had full trust in him. And they said, even if we die, you know what I'm saying? They were still giving the Most High praise. But they said that he would protect them. They knew he would protect them. They were they were in golden golden mode, bro. My majority of people in the world think about pennies. You see a penny on the street. You see a penny everywhere. You see pennies in your car on the on the floor on the ground. People just throwing pennies away. You don't care about them. Likewise, majority of people on the earth the same thing. You just just pennies you got some nickels out there which is a step up you got some quarters but you rarely ever see a piece of gold so those of us that have 
repented and turned to the most high, went from copper, eventually up to gold, I mean, uh, silver. And now we're in our golden era, if you want to call it. We are like gold unto the most high because we are striving for perfection. And not living in our sins. We are the rare chosen few. And only those, only the remnant is going to be able to get on that type of, that type of level. Majority is going to stay as copper. Damn near worthless. Because not only do not love themselves or others, they don't love the most high. Because if they love the most high, they will love themselves and others. And they will do better. So they're being out here committing wickedness, murdering, stealing, base men, sons of man rather than sons of the most high, beasts of the field, pigs, swine, instead of being a lion, instead of being a sheep, instead of being a goat, a swine. And the lowest animal creatures, animalistic creatures, animalistic nature that you can think of. So yeah, y'all, just work on that. If you really, truly, you know, a spiritual person, or you, you love the Most High Elohim, and you know there's an area that you need to work on, remove those copper things. Remove those lower things. Wasting time. Wasting time with video games, TV, porn. TV shows that, you know, or music that destroys you, destroys your mentality, that can't reside in the gold portion where the Most High sits. You can't have songs about murder fornication, wickedness, we're playing in your mind because you listen to it so much. So that's, it. just, you know, you just hear songs in your head instead of hearing the songs of the Most High, instead of thinking, instead of hearing his voice, instead of thinking of his laws that can't reside. That's copper. That can't, the copper cannot be up here. Those lower things cannot be up there. They belong down there. They belong down getting burned on the altar. They need to be destroyed. Then you replace that cop with better things. Albeit maybe more carnal things, you know, earthly things, but you're still moving up. You're still being a better person. And you, you know, you're getting there. You're, you're improving is the point. Get rid of those things and get to the goal. Start listening to better music, higher vibrational music, roots reggae music. Midnight, Sizzler, or not listen to music at all. Maybe you listen to meditation music, uh, 432 hertz while you pray, or you know, or while you read scriptures. Point is replacing all that copper with silver, and then eventually gold. So remove all that bullshit and fill up your storehouse with gold. And in a way, you're robbing the Most High. Remember he said, fill his storehouse with tithes. What are you bringing to the Most High? Are you bringing him silver? Are you bringing him the least of your offering, like Cain did? Or are you going to be like Abel and give him the best? And you ain't even thinking of giving him silver. You're thinking, I'm going to bring gold to you. You know? Something to think about, y'all. But yeah, gotta get my day going. Shalom. So